Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I wasn't planning on filming today, hence the like plait in my hair, a bit of a messy do. I've come out this morning to, well there's two places I want to go, um, Garden Centre and also Ikea. I just need to have quick look at one thing in ikea but whilst i'm there i thought well do you know what i will just pick up the camera and bring you guys with me for today now without further ado let's head on in to the shops i'm hoping for all of the christmas vibes i feel like we're gonna get christmasy in today's video always say how much I love their baskets they've got like some square ones but I've not seen this shape before um just really nice like kind of kubu wicker and they've also got the handles on both ends which is quite nice uh, but yeah that's a really interesting shape that one I'm considering it just noticed I thought this was a wreath on the table all oh, these little bottle brush Christmas trees have fallen down but I thought this was a wreath. I think what they've done is they've just put a garland with some lights around in a basket in the centre of a table. How nice is that? I wouldn't have even thought about doing that. And then over here, they've got a Christmas tree decorated with all these little wooden decorations, which look so cute. I feel like that theme, just all green, is quite nice. And they've got the little fake prezzies underneath. I might actually have a look at some of their wrapping paper if I get around to it because that star one at the back that I've noticed looks really really nice and they've got another little display here again and that one's falling down it's like a, li a little wreath and they've attached a couple of baubles in this glass tray I know they do these in the plant section for like mini moss bowls and things definitely gonna pick one of these up for Barney I've not seen these in stock for the longest time and he loves it straight in my trolley Clash, which I know they've got in the kitchen section for quite a lot of decor purposes like different Christmassy scenes like this one as if like a fake cake with a little gingerbread but I really like how they look on display I don't want to lift it up and ruin it but yeah why am I obsessed with this decoration look how they've put all these books on the wall kind of like leading up I don't know why but I just love that so these are the baskets that I've got this shape. They're kind of like small rectangular ones, but I've never thought about having them in the kitchen like they've done with different like jams and compots. And then obviously you've got glass, this glass dome again, this time with cookies, which is quite cute. Not gonna lie, walking through this Chris, Christmas section, kitchen section is making me desperate for a new kitchen. Just come across this um, table place setting and I thought I would just show you how they've done a little twig. Obviously this just like cut from a fake maybe even from one of these garlands but even if you could forage them and just wrap them around a napkin nice linen napkin like that very simple little jute ribbon and um yeah just realized my nails are like the same color as the trees i've gone for a new color which i'm not sure about it's a bit too green i think like a khaki green but anyway yeah i thought i would show you that table place setting again yet another thing that we don't have a nice dining table space but not long guys before the renovation is done i'm kind of telling myself that too i just spotted this wreath in one of their display rooms and this gorgeous little christmas tree in the i'm hoping if i find these that they're actually in this jute that you don't have to add that because if so white company do something similar and i really like it just the size of it is perfect for on top of like um, I don't know, it's a chest of drawers or a tabletop. But yeah, that wreath is really nice as well. It's nice and neutral. There's not too much color, too much fuss. It's actually quite small. Oh, here we go. I've just found one with a label. It's called the Vinterfint. Well, I think that's a whole new range of all their Christmas stuff, but 25 pounds this one is. I know it's early, but I feel like I'm gonna stock up with one of these to pop in at Barney's stocking this year. It has gone up in price. It used to be, I think it was 15, then it went to 17. Clearly all the dogs love it, <laughs> and kids, but yeah. This is going in his stocking this year. A nice, fresh, new Ikea dog. If you have a dog, guys, please just get this. Honestly, they all seem to go crazy for them, or any of the soft toys, but this one in particular, 
because I've bought him a few in the past, but this is the one that he loves. He likes getting like the tongue and biting onto its face and cuddling it at night. It's so cute. So this is the cake stand in question. 15 pounds, serving stand with lid. So it comes as a two part. Um, yeah, 15 quid. Anyone else always so nosy when you see this. I wanna see what they're building. Let me inside. I've seen people put um, sort of like the big poinsettia flowers in, but I've never seen roses and eucalyptus within a Christmas tree. I feel like this is subtle Christmas, not in your face, just a nice throw with a touch of red check in it. 20 pounds this one. We've got some new of these star designs. They have these every year, but I've not seen these patterned ones before. I quite like the mistletoe green one, actually. They are three pound forty, and it's essentially a lampshade that you could either hang from the ceiling or put over a lamp. And then they've also got this little Christmas scene one this year, eighteen pounds seventy pence. What a random price point! <laughs> There's some random prices here, um, but yeah, that's quite cute as well. They also have the real pine trees which are like mini versions at six pound fifty got a different pine over there although those ones look like they're drying out quite a lot it's ten pounds it makes quite a nice kind of christmas decoration if you just want to switch out your prints just a very simple pine cone i really love how simple that is and then they've obviously got some other prints as well this is kind of like festive maybe good for like a kid's bedroom these are the eucalyptus branches that they used in the christmas tree one pound fifty each they are for a stem that is that big oh hang on a minute that one's three pound fifty hmm what's the difference maybe just the height oh that one's a little bit fuller not really though again from this Vinta fint range that they've got for Christmas. They've got this little mini bowl of potpourri for three pounds. In fact, I best leave that there. These aren't Christmassy at all, but I've not seen these before. They're actually in the vase section, but I feel like they could make really large tumblers. They are five pounds each though, so it would get kind of pricey. Um, and then they've still got these ones, these cheap ones at £1.25. I think these are an absolute bargain. I've got one of these already. I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm very tempted to switch it up this year. And instead of getting him a dog, get him one of these polar bears. Oh, I just got both. Couldn't decide. It's his birthday this month, so I'll get one for his birthday. Maybe the polar bear and then we'll save this one for Christmas. Oh, yes, I'm that dog mum. dog mode off it's brilliant having this car for being able to bring him with me because um you can just put the car in dog mode and leave them in the car i mean i never leave them in for too long but anyway all done at ikea just grabbed myself i popped into a um there's the m s right next door which also has starbucks so i got myself an iced decaf brown sugar shaken espresso these are delicious. I did fancy Starbucks. I thought, well, I can get a Christmas cup. And then I ordered a nice drink and I was like, oh, damn it. Never mind. Um, and then m and I just ran in. So I thought it'd be quite good to get a dinner for tonight. Seems though I'm dining solo. And I've got the, I've seen these and wanted to try them. They've got a beef one. And then this one that I went for, the chicken filled Yorkshire pudding meal for one with crispy potatoes, pork stuffing, and a rich chicken gravy. That's gonna be a lovely dinner tonight. Because I think Tom might be working late. I say late, he'll probably get home about half seven. But by the time we start cooking, I'm like, oh, it's too late for me to eat. Um, but then I also got one of these cute little gingerbread tins. I thought these would make a good um, addition to like 
Christmas decor as well. And plus these little gingerbreads that they do in M&S. I have demolished the last bag that I got. So yum. Is it, it's not going to stop now. Oh, there we go. Six pounds for ten of gingerbread. And honestly, try these gingerbread men. They are delicious. Let's grab myself a panini for the road home. Does anyone else like driving and eating at the same time? Rather than eating and then driving. We went somewhere. Where did we go? Yes, it went to um, a friend's birthday. Like at their house. And they had like a fireworks display and things. And en route home. Oh, no, it was en route to that. We were, we were actually coming back from Lytham. And we were going to that party. And I was driving and um, we stopped off for a little Burger King en route and the services. And um, Tom said, oh no, let's stop and eat. And I'm like, I'm fine. I'm happy to eat and drive. It's kind of like something to do on the road, you know? Anyway, I went for the Brie and Cranberry for Catcher. Let's do a little taste test. See what we think of the Christmas menu food. One of the Christmas menu food. Mmm. I had the brie and cranberry one from Costa the other day. It was a panini. I prefer the focaccia. I was going to get lunch at the garden centre, um, which I'm going to head to now. But I was too hungry. I thought, no, just grab a bite to eat, grab a coffee, because it's a 10 minute drive to the garden centre. We're going to go to Knock Cuts. I've not actually been to this one before, though. So hopefully they allow dogs. I'm sure they do. Center, £1.49. I'm just thinking for napkin holders. How good are they for like your table place setting? They've got these as well actually that you could also kind of match up and put on the table at one ninety nine. I'm really loving this brown woodland kind of theme. Bunny this way. Oh I've just spotted this actually, this tree topper. That's gorge. I love these matches. They're 9 dollars There's a few different styles. There's this book one, um, which I love. Then this square box one, I'm tempted to get some maybe for Christmas gifts to go with candles. And then of course, if you've got any Dachshund owners, these are perfect. But they're all 9 dollars I think my favorite are these two actually. Oh, I do like that one as well. They do have the jarred versions at the 15 dollars but I think value for money, you can get these like a B&M and stuff. However, these ones, 9 dollars I think are well worth it. So. I think I might buy a couple of bits actually and show you some bits that I pick up when I get home because I'm already getting my hands full here. I am incredibly tempted to get this bauble, it's $4.99. I just think that is so nice. I also love this little gingerbread one and that is also $4.99. I feel like all of their baubles. Oh, I've just seen this one as well. Oh, I think I prefer this one. Maybe I should get a $2.99, Barney the Dinosaur course in honor of money you <laughs> also really love all of these kind of vintage cushions they are sort of like the 25 pound mark i think my favorite is of course the dog one all of these blankets are the best as well they're only 29.99 they're just like my zara home one which was 80 pounds i think i bought that for like ages ago and don't get me wrong it is my favorite blanket but these Kilburn and Scott ones and then those ones over there are just as good. I'm back. Home sweet home. Okay, should we take my hair out finally? <laughs> I feel like it's definitely a plot I've slept in. <laughs> I regret doing this. We'll soon find out. The problem with heatless curls, if you do the whole like dressing gown hack or i mean i actually have one i'm a side sleeper so when you've got this big band over here it's uncomfortable to sleep whereas a plait i'm pretty happy with that a plait i can kind of sleep on fine and it not be too uncomfortable okay this side is a bit crazy probably do with putting some oil in it but that is my wavy plait hair heatless waves 
essentially. Okay, I came back. Obviously the first thing, oh, I did show you this in, um, in Ikea when I was in there. This again from the new Winterfint range. As you saw, I went for both the polar bear, which I'm gonna give for Barney's birthday, and Ikea dog for um, Christmas. I'll just take him a nice fresh one. I'm going to my parents for Christmas, so I'll be able to get rid of the stinky one that he's got now, which has been through the wash one too many times and give him a fresh one at theirs. And then this polar bear will last him until then. So that was also 19 pounds, the polar bear. <clears throat> and then I've got him this, which I'll give to him now, just one of these footballs. He did have one of these outside and it's so muddy now, obviously outside. So I just binned that one. I'll keep this one inside for him for a bit at least anyway. Loads of winter baking goodies, loads of different like gingerbread things. There was a gingerbread house, gingerbread cookies. I went for the little mini gingerbread house scene just because I thought this would look nice. You know how they had them styled up in the glass cloches? Um, having little mini ones kind of on display. I thought that would be quite nice. Also got some baking glue. Then I got this. They had these kind of concertina paper decorations. They had a green one for the tree, which I already have one of those. And it was also quite a green green. Whereas these are a gorgeous burgundy color and they are a pack of six different shapes with jute ribbon. How do they? It looks like it's a magnet. However, I can't imagine this magnet would actually stay. Let's see. Yeah, it's a magnet, but there's no way that's staying open because of the magnet. I think I'll have to just pop a little bit of tape to secure it. And then obviously you've got your little bell. Each shape is different, which I like. You know how I always say on my tree, I quite like individual baubles rather than packs of baubles. Oh, I also got these. This was just like a checkout purchase. Whilst I was queuing up, I saw these. They're little linen bags, three is it set of three yeah set of three different linen bags for gifting so again for christmas and again from that new winter range they had quite a lot actually i was quite impressed we've got a set of three bags we've got this little polka dot jute one with the jute ribbon to tie it shut she's got a piece of cardboard in there at the minute and then we've got the star shaped one and then the larger print there. So yeah, I thought I would get those. They were just a few pounds. In fact, I'm not telling you prices for any of these, am I? The football was £4.50. The soft toys were £19. These ones were £4. This one I think was two, yeah, this was two ninety-five. Actually, sorry, the set of three bags was only £3. A pound a bag. That's pretty good. And then last but not least, I think, yes, at £1.30, I got this chocolate bar. So festive. Chocolate bar with gingerbread biscuit pieces in, which is a bit of me. So that's everything I got from Ikea. I've got a couple of bits from the garden center. One of which you saw the uh, matches. I was talking about them. I decided to go for these ones, which are like a bookshelf edition. I thought these are gonna look lovely on display. Um, I was gonna get some more as gifts, but I'm not sure who I'm getting a candle for because my mum always says she's got too many candles and needs to burn through them and she never burns her candles. I keep, every time I go over, I'm like, burn your candles. And she just, she likes to keep them nice. So she never burns them. I also got this at 1.99. This like ribbon, and they had loads of different ribbons at the garden center. But I thought this one would be really nice. Can you see how thick and like felt like that one is? I thought this would be nice if I've got any decorations that need a switch up on the ribbon. I know I quite often do like a velvet ribbon or like a mesh white one. I thought this would be a nice different one to have maybe for all the baubles on this tree. Or matchy matchy. And you could also use this for like little gift wrap or gift tags as well. Then I got these three packets of seeds which <laughs> I actually bought for a friend. I've got a seed box for her for Christmas. I thought I'd pop these in because they're just something a bit different, aren't they? They're not your box standard seeds that you get from the garden center. They're like a botanical print and a bit more expensive. They were four pounds each. So I got her three of those. And then last but not least, I got myself a book for in our future kitchen, which I am dreaming of. The day that we have our kitchen that I can style up, put all my nice cooking books in and everything like that. It's a dream and hopefully will become a reality sometime soon. But I decided to pick this up for future kitchen styling purposes at Christmas. It's called Advent. It's 
got this gorgeous illustration on the front very white company isn't it and i love this green color especially at christmas so this was on a special price of only 6.99 when it actually retails for $12.99, so basically half price. It's got recipes and crafts for the countdown to Christmas, so all sorts of different things in there. Um, crafty, gift wrapping, gingerbread Christmas tree. Oof, I'm actually really looking forward to having a good read through this. Look at that. Grinch cookies, pumpkin and apricot chutney, peanut burrito, white cinnamon and almond crackers, syrups, door wreaths, advent candles, winter salads all sorts in there so i'm actually really happy to have found that so that is everything that i picked up from ikea from the garden center i hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with me i hope you enjoyed seeing what was new in i met a lovely subscriber in there as well if you're watching thank you for coming to say hello to me and thanks to you guys for watching i hope you have a lovely rest of your day and i hope to see you very very soon in my next video bye guys